So, hi guys. Today we are going to another tutorial. So, for this tutorial, um, you can do, well, this is going to be cell phone case glitter one. So, just any cell phone case. This is just a clear one. Whatever color you have. Glitter in whatever color you have. Um, if you want to put, like, little embellishments on different Oopsies. <laughs> different pearls and stuff like that, like hearts and circles is what I have, and flowers and ovals, gems, and decoration things, like these sticks, arms, micro marbles, anything really. So let's get started. Um, sorry about that. You also need tacky glue or some type of glue um this is like eight bucks at walmart and a sealant this is all i could find so you also need this and this is like six bucks at walmart and you'll need a sponge to put put this glue onto your case and this is like a buck at the dollar store same with these and the other stuff and you'll need a pair of scissors to cut off the top of your tacky glue if you haven't already. So let's get started. And I also forgot to mention you're going to need like a plate or surface to put your glitter on. Just let me move my area quick. There's a bed just beside me. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, so you're going to have to cut off your tip of your tacky glue if I can get this off there we go. Whoa! Almost a my. That hurt. Okay, so take your glue and it tells you on the back to test it before best results onto like your surface, but I don't have um testing area, so I'm just gonna put this on. Come on. And between breaks, make sure to put your lid on. I'll make sure it doesn't dry out. So you're going to take your sponge now. And without hitting the... This is not the best sponge. This is all I have, though. So. And just spread your glue all over your face. Like so. I don't know how quickly this dries, but I don't think it dries too quick. But I'm just going to do a few a peas. So now take your plate that you have and take your glitter. So I'm going to do um, this turquoise blue. Just a it's gonna take a bit. When it's from the dollar store, you kind of have to like push the sides to get it out. So that should be good enough. There's some glitter, and I think I might do half and half colors. Just like spread it around and try to get it all in there. Don't worry if you miss spots, you can always fill them in after. Okay, and then after you've done that, kind of tap off the excess. I'm 
Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so online I missed some slots, so I'm just going to take some glue on my sponge. So just take a little bit of my idea. If you want to, you can let it dry first, but. Okay, so, I'm going to tap it off, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, so now that you have it all glazed, you're going to take your, I meant your, your all, you have it all glittered, you're going to take your glaze, depending on the glaze you have. Mine says to shake well first in a well ventilated area. Okay. Mine's kind of up, but that's okay. So, I want a ruler, but I don't have one, so we're just going to use this measuring sheet to see how it's We're going to hold it up here, away from it. Oopsies, totally missed it. Make sure you're in a well ventilated area. Oh, I'm gonna hit the computer. So I'm gonna turn it this way. This Okay, and then after that, just let it set for however long it says to, and do one more coat, and it should be good. And I'm just going to show you guys. So, that's mine. It's uneven with glitter, and I tried, but yeah, that's yours will probably turn out better than mine did because. You have more time than I did, probably. But I will do another one in like another shade, and it'll look better than that. So I'll show you when I do it. So thank you for watching, because I learned. Make sure you um triple thick or whatever glue I use, tacky glue, all of it first. Make sure they're all even layers, quite a thick layer to get enough glitter on there. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, bye guys.